All right, number three. Which ordered pairs below are solutions to the equation Y equals the opposite of X, take away four. So all I got to do is plug in X being one into the equation right there and Y being negative five right in there and see, does it work? Is it a solution to that equation? So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to plug negative five into the Y. So negative five equals the opposite of X. X is one. So that's going to be a negative one. Take away four. Negative one, take away four is negative five. Yes, it does. So A is a solution. I'm going to plug in now Y negative seven into the equation. Negative seven, does that equal the opposite of X, which is three? Take away four. Negative three subtract four does give me negative seven. That is also working. The next Y is negative four. X is zero. So the opposite is zero, which is just zero. Minus four. Does negative four equal zero minus four? It does. Wow. Could it be all of them? Y is three equals the opposite of X, opposite of five, take away four. Nah, that's negative nine. That doesn't work. So A, B, and C do work though. Number four. Let's see. Let's plug X is one. So it goes right in there. Y is two. It goes right in there. So does two equal Two times the X of one, take away one. No, because that's two minus one, which is one. That's not going to work. Let's try the next one. Y is one. Two times the X is two, take away one. Four minus one equals one. Nope, doesn't work. Let's go to the next. Y is negative one equals two times the X of zero, take away one. Two times zero is zero. Zero minus one is negative one. So yes, C does work. That is a solution to the equation above. And finally, y is negative 9. Does that equal 2 times the x value of 5 take away 1? That's 10 minus 1, which is 9. Negative 9 does not equal a positive 9, so no, d does not work. Number 5, we have to just plug in again 4 times x, which is 3, minus 3 times y is 0. Does that equal 12? 4 times 3 is 12, minus 3 times 0 is 0. Yes, it does. That will be a solution. Next, four times the X of zero, subtract three times a negative four equal 12. Now, this gives you zero, a ne it's subtract a three times that. So it's sort of like subtract a three times four negative 12, but that'll change to a plus 12, or you can view it as a negative three times negative four. Either way, you get a positive 12 there. And zero plus 12 is 12. This is a solution. What about two? Four times X being two minus three times a negative one. Does that equal 12? Now we could put this in parentheses. Some people like to do it that way. So four times two is eight. This will end up being plus a three because three times one, a negative three times negative one is positive three. Or you could look at it as a subtract a negative three, which becomes plus three either way. And four and three does not give you 12. So no to C. So, so far we have A and B. Let's see about D. Four times X is negative three minus three times Y is negative eight. Does that equal 12? This gives me negative 12. And again, I have a sort of a negative three times negative eight, which is plus 24. And what it does. Yes, because negative 12 plus 24 is a positive 12. Number six, two times the X of five, take away the Y of four. Does that equal two? 10 minus four does not equal two, no. Two times the X of one minus a negative one, does that equal two? Well, that's gonna be a plus and two plus one will not give us two. 2 times the X of 6, take away the Y of 5. Does that equal 2? 12 minus 5? No. Wow, maybe none of them. 2 times X of 7, take away the Y of 12. Does that equal 2? 14 minus 12? Yes. So we, one of them did work. And we have one more here. X minus Y, negative 2. So X is 5, take away 7. Does that equal negative 2? Yes. X is three, take away negative one. Does that equal negative two? That changes to a plus and four does not, so no. 
Negative one minus three, does that equal negative two? No, that's a negative four. Lose one, lose three more, you've lost four. And finally, does eight minus 10 equal negative two? Yes, so D does work.